It's Fake Kills. Bang, original, puffing on me, high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it's been like a good week or two. Um, y'all, <laughs> Thank y'all for coming back. <laughs> Honestly, before we even get started, I want to go ahead and say I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And um, literally, the only reason why I've been gone is because I've been having like a content like block. And I need you guys to send me some great content ideas. Like anything that you guys want me to try, like hair, beauty, like anything. Because I don't know what's the want, what's, what's the need right now. So let me know what's the need. And I will definitely provide it for you because literally I want to do it. But I just can't even, really, you know, I haven't had any inspiration, you know. Uh, anyway, though, I do have a, a tad bit. Um, I found this new silk setting powder that I am so excited to try. So I thought I'd hop on camera, get ready for work with you guys, and um, we do this together. <laughs> and we try it out together. So if you don't already know, it's the Tatcha Silk Powder. This just recently came out. I swear, I've been haunting Sephora's website and literally have not found much on there for like new products, but this was something that I came across and I thought, ooh, this would be great to try because I am honestly right now using all of Tatcha's, for the most part, using Tatcha's skincare products right now and I'm loving them. I'm using their cleanser, which I'll post it right here. I'm using their moisturizer, which I'll post it right here as well too. So I thought it would be really great to try something else of theirs because their products are really doing really, really well on my skin right now. They are a little bit on the pricier side, but when there's quality behind the price, I can understand that. When you're crap, and you are high price, I just don't understand and I will never buy you again. Before this, I was using Fenty and I loved it, but for some reason, I like to switch up my uh, facial products because I feel like I like to trick my skin. I do think when you use products over and over and over and over and over again, your skin gets used to it and it stops doing what it needs to do. So I like to switch it up with everything, like moisture. when I run out of my moisturizer, I like to try new moisturizer. When I run out of my cleansers, I like to try new cleansers. So right now I'm on the Tatcha one, which I just bought like last week. And it literally, I had like a bump here because I had been sleeping in my makeup. It cleared all that up. It really cleanses your skin, which is basically what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I'm very impressed by their skincare products at the moment. So let's hope that this silk powder does well for me too. So yeah, let's get ready because I'm acting like I don't have to go to work and I definitely do it running late. I'm wearing this cute new robe, which I want to show you guys. I love the color of it. I found it on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys because it's so, it's like that waffle cup, waffle robe. Really lightweight, not smothering, and won't cause you to heat up a thousand degrees. I think that's like my problem with a lot of these. I heat up so fast, I end up having to take my robe off. So yeah, this one's very comfortable. It seems like I'm at a spa or whatever. And yeah, let me stop rambling and get on to the... I'm going to start off using my milk. This is called Primer. I have been using this for a long time now. Like, I don't even remember when I wasn't using this. That's how long I've been using this. And actually, it's really good. It's really, really good. I feel like this is, I would have to say, the top primer out there. Um, for those of you that are looking for a good primer, you're like, I need a good primer, man. None of these primers are working for me. Try the milk one. I swear, anytime I've heard people, even people I thought they wouldn't know about this, already know about this, and they're like hooked on it. Like people that are like not really makeup people, you know? They're like obsessed, and I understand why. It's so good. So I'm gonna go, to try out this new silk powder, I'm honestly going to go in and use my Fenty uh, foundation. I don't even wanna like gas you up like I've been using other things. I've literally only been using this. And you know why? Because it's so great on my skin. It's lightweight, which is what I love. And it's just, I don't know, it's just perfect. So I've been obsessed with it and I've been using this like, every time I put on makeup, no matter if I'm going somewhere. Oh Lord, I didn't got my new robe dirty. Um, yeah, no matter if I'm going out somewhere, like dinner or something, I'm gonna be wearing this because it's just 
so light. And I've also, as you can see, I've went back using to using a sponge because I don't know. This is my first day using it, but I kind of missed it. I kind of missed using a sponge. I forgot how like light and how well it blends in with your skin. Actually, look how light that looks. Like it looks like I literally have no makeup on. Like sponge, did you suck up all of my <laughs> of my products? But no, it's on there just very very light love it so once again we're back to the same concealer which i feel like when you have a good concealer you can just kind of stay at that point you know like stay where you at with the concealer situation because i mean once you find a good one it's it's just kind of set in stone with that one you know <laughs> I'm just blending this out right now. By the way, the sponge that I am using today is a Real Technique sponge. Look how easily, I forgot how easily uh, this sponge burns out things. Like, it literally takes the work out of it. Whereas with the brush, it is a little bit more, um, more work. It does give you more coverage, but it is a little bit more work to blend out things just because you gotta make sure that the brush is not streaking and things like that. Whereas with the sponge, you're just literally patting the product into your face. Look at that flawless application, man. So now that I feel like I have my perfect foundation, my perfect concealer, I hope, I feel like I'm still looking for a new setting powder. So I really hope that this might be the one because I'm still, you know, like I'm ready to change up the setting powder. I feel like I've been kind of using the same ones for a minute now. So I'm just, you know, up in the air. But just a little brief um, background on this new uh, powder. So it is the Tatcha Silk Powder, if you don't already know. it uh, It's a towel-free translucent setting powder with a radiant finish that blurs while cooning, while cocooning skin for pollutants and blue light. Um, made in Japan, formulated without parabens, synthetic fragrances, mineral oil, sulfate, detergents, Phylates, DEA, or TEA. Okay, it don't have nothing in it pretty much. <laughs> um, I can't remember how much this was because actually what happened was I had to go inside the store and they didn't have it inside the store, have it inside the store, but here's a little trick if you're trying to get free shipping with Sephora, go inside of your Sephora and just pretty much if they don't have, ooh, a new perfume by Gucci, okay. Uh, if they don't have what you're looking for, they will order it for you and give you free shipping. So that's just a tip that I learned and I'm gonna start doing that because it's a lot of times when things are sold out, they actually have it in store, but they're sold out at the moment and I end up paying shipping, you know, and it's like, I could have avoided that. So this actual powder is $48. Now it is kind of pricey for something being 0.07 uh, ounces, uh, pretty small and pretty expensive, but Tatcha is one of those luxury brands. So yeah. Anyway, so when I open it, I'm very surprised at how this situation is going. Uh, I don't even know what to do here. So, oh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to take this off. Oh, well, I think I should have. Is there directions that comes to this? Hold on. I don't want to mess it up. So, okay. So, it looks like there's like this little weird little thing here, which I've never seen before, wrapped around the, it looks like what the powder comes out of right here. And... I'm guessing, I really don't know how to get this out, but I don't have time to, oh, I'm guessing you just shake it a little bit, because it's not a pressing motion, and yeah, I'm guessing you just like shake it into the top, which is what I just did, and I am going to take my brush, and I'm gonna pat this in my skin. Now the reason why I'm using a brush versus using this powder, using this is because I don't wanna mix the two. I want all the coverage of the powder to go on onto my skin. Mm. Now this is really a light, 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 light powder. But I feel like, mm, I do see some like whiteness in my skin. Like it's making me look a little bit at that ashy tone, but maybe it'll settle in. 
I do still have to set my face. So yeah, I'm getting like, now I'm just trying to make sure that it's in my skin, but I am getting like, like white ashiness from this. Did I put any makeup on? Like, I'm feeling ghost-like, okay. I'm feeling really ghost-like right now. I don't know if you can already tell. <laughs> it's kind of scaring me. But what I'm gonna do in this instance is I'm gonna go ahead, it's, I see, I think the, what I'm thinking is ashiness is really the radiance in this because when I really look closely to my, when I really look closely at my mirror, I do see like, um, I do see kind of shimmer. So I do see the shimmer. I also see that I need to go and apply more. I'm not gonna even, I need to go and apply more like concealer under here. I am also noticing that I don't really like how much product that the sponge took off. Um, and that's just be probably because I'm so used to now using a brush to do it. And it does keep the applicator, it does, you do keep your product on when you use a brush that I am like, no, this is not me. Cause I feel like my eyes aren't like covered. So yes, I know I'm going right over this powder and doing this, but the powder is so light, honestly, it's not going to even make a difference. So, and all I'm going to do is just take my powder again and just cover this up. Yeah, like I said, the powder is so light, it's not going to do but like now I see like, see like versus this, I don't know if you can already tell, like I feel like I have coverage now. I feel like for me, for the sponge nowadays, I can go in and do my foundation with it. But as far as doing my under eyes, like no, I be needing a little bit more coverage from the eyes. All right, so now my eyes feel secured and I feel awake. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of my, more of that powder again. I'm just gonna apply it under my eyes. And then, like, you're probably like, why is she going back and using the same powder that made her look like ashy? But it's okay though, because we're gonna make this all come together. Like one does when they're applying makeup. So I'm gonna go in and bronze up my skin with uh, this Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like it's the same thing I've been using. Um, because I wanna get to the part where I set this really, really fast. Um, I can't remember if this is their first um, setting powder. I think it is. I don't think I've ever seen a setting powder come out by then. Boom. So I do like though, I don't know how well it's reflecting on camera that once you bronze up your skin, you kind of glow in certain areas, which I love the glow. I love a glow. I need to go and put some brows on real quick because... Alrighty then, so now that I've done my brows, like I said, I'm really liking how the radiance is in is like settling into my skin. Um, for one, because I feel like when you add your contour, which is a matte powder, you mix it with matte powders, it shows the radiance in places you would typically want to be in, you know? So I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it. I was kind of like, who? But um, I probably, I don't know. Like I'm trying to figure out like what's the long term with this. Um, just because I don't know if this would be like my go-to, you know? Like I'm trying to figure out like, but long term, what I do is going in and just applying a little bit of support face powder, by the way. Um, I don't know if it's gonna last um, like all day, which worries me because I'm like, well, dang, like I go through all this and is it gonna last long? I'm gonna apply some of my contour powder though inside of my eyes to give me like that bronzy look inside of the um, eyelids area. I love how it looks around my face today. So I was like, you know what the heck? Let's take it all the way on the lid. And plus, you know, I'm going to work, so I don't want to be like all extra and whatnot. All right, let's go ahead and apply a little bit of Rose Latte because I'm obsessed, of course, but I feel like it's gonna really help 
to bring out some color. You only need a little bit of this. And I literally lightly tap this on my face. Like, I don't even know if you can tell that I tap this on my face. But I still do it, so it is what it is. <laughs> I apply some highlighter because I want to um, highlight my skin. Do you know what I didn't do? I did not contour my nose, and I feel like that is key to this look. Really bring the structure in. Love how like after I contour my nose, I have like a natural highlight from that powder. It makes it look like you have like a natural highlight. I think that's what I really like about it. Like as I continue to use it, I'm like, dang, well, it makes me have to do less work with trying to highlight because it naturally highlights your skin. You know, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna go in and set my face with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush setting mist. You really don't even need much of this because you're not really trying to like diffuse a lot of powders, especially with this look, because I didn't really add that many. It's really cute. I like it. I like it. So I'm gonna go in now and apply some mascara and then apply some lashes because girl, you know, you know how that goes. I really feel like I could go without lashes, like because my face is so radiant right now that so now I'm gonna do on my lips. I have been obsessed with this, um, well, I haven't even been obsessed, let me stop lying. I just picked up some new uh, lip products from Ulta. I could not find, I literally lost my favorite lip pencil, which was the KKW Beauty lip pencil, so I had to go and find another brown one, because that pencil was like the perfect brown, and I loved it, and I tried to find one with like other greens, but everybody sold out of the brown, so it's like when you have a brown lip pencil, girl, hold it tight. Hold it right because if you lose it, you're done. This is a pretty one though. It is the Makeup Revolution Satin Kiss Lip Liner TGI. Uh, uh, then I'm gonna take this Morphe uh, True Story cloth. Take my Juvia's Place Scorpio. And I want this look to look glossy today, so I'm gonna go in and apply this Morphe gloss that I picked up. It is a lip oil. So I took the Shayla Quickie, the um, one she did in collaboration with. Hmm, I love this way. All right, so I'm just gonna change my clothes real quick and I'll be right back to give you guys a final review on this setting powder. So for a final result, I, so I kept calling this a setting powder. I don't really think that this is a setting powder. I think that this is more so of like a Silk powder that you can add to uh, that you can add to your uh, routine. I don't really think this is a setting powder that's supposed to set your makeup because what I get from this is like radiance and a whole bunch of other things, but not setting. If that makes sense. Um, it's really, really nice. I think after, for someone of my skin tone, you will have to complete your process by bronzing and things like that to really get the full effect of what this is. But once you do that, it really gives you that beautiful summer glowy look that I feel like that's why it came out during this time. That's why it is, it, I mean, that's the type of powder that it is. It's a really thin powder. You don't need much of it. So even though it's $48, you're going to have this powder a very, very, very long time because you really only need a little bit of it. Like instead of like how I did it, going and applying it all over the face, you really could just apply it under the places that you typically like to highlight, like forehead, under the eyes, here, you know, and it will pop. So I love the fact that 
you know that this powder does do that because a lot of times you have to go and use a like a bunch of highlighter to get this effect or you have to go and use a lighter concealer to get this effect but I feel like with this powder you can achieve a lot of things when you know how to use it I thought I was gonna be confused about this powder and that I was like I don't know if I'll be able to use this every day but now I'm kind of obsessed with it because look at the final look like we are literally beat to the gods here and I have no eyeshadow on I just have regular makeup on and I have a really like a tint foundation on so I do so I do love how the final result of this looks. I mean, I'm loving it. And you know, and with the ponytail, I am giving all sorts of life. So like I said, if you use it like how I did today, you should be fine. It is really an amazing powder once you complete your steps with it. And I would not, but I would not apply this powder alone. Like I wouldn't just like quickly go and apply this on my, fa my face and think I'm gonna head out the door. Like, no, this is not, for someone of my, of my skin tone, I don't think this is like, that's the route that you go with this. This is definitely like added to the places that you want to highlight. I, you see that I went in with a little bit of face powder like here and things like that. You know, you could do this. You could do the same thing and get a beautiful result just like this. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also let me know what you would like to see next because I told you, I'm in kind of a content funk and I would love to know what you would like for me to put on the agenda to film for you guys. So, yeah. Thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.